gonna start seeing them refarm uh, to N sixty six. Well, they already backtracked the whole Spectrum move with Band five in a lot of places, so we've seen them, you know, toe the water and then and yep. then dip out because of regressions in the network performance. Yep. Well, I mean, I, I agree. I agree with Moose. It's only a matter of time before those re refarms begin to happen. Two I think the only now, three years from now. I, I won't put a time frame on it. I don't know, but I will say it's only a matter of time. Um, I think the only frequency that's going to remain LTE is probably going to be the 700 carrier. Band Everything band. else is going to go 5G. So I, I don't know what's stopping. You know, the, maybe it's the FTC. Maybe it's the FCC. I don't, I don't know. One of those C's. I don't know. I don't know what's stopping these carriers, though, from just saying, hey, if you got an iPhone 11 or something stupid like that, why not just <laughs> ship somebody, just start shipping customers, certified pre-owned 14s and say, shut up and take this phone activated or we're going to turn it off. I mean, this one's not working anymore. I mean, I mean there, was a, there was a 3G moment for that. I mean, it did. Yeah, uh, we've seen that type of thing. Yeah, I mean, why not just start doing that? I mean, it's a certified pre-owned device. Here it is. It's going to get you X, Y, and Z. We're, we're shipping to you at no cost. But this one here, we're not going to support it anymore. I mean, why not? Who, who's losing by doing that? Yeah, that's a good but, idea. So, see, the problem, though, is, is that LTE is not going to go away until probably... 2040 at this rate right but i think what he is saying is that is you, you just have like the lt only devices maybe that are like on contracts with like businesses like the alarms like the point of sales like the meters right that just went lt recently like they're still covered with that low band iot kind of usage but we got to get the phones that are consuming data off of lt and onto nr yeah yeah and so that, that's what i'm saying that's the solution so 700, the 700 frequency is probably going to be the last frequency to move to 5G if it uh, if it ever does until, to Moose's point, 2040, for example. So right. everything else, like a traditional smartphone, why not just start shipping out certified pre-owned devices? Hey, here's the new phone. Activate this one because your new your your, your current phone is no longer going to work after this date. So here's a new one. It is what it is. I mean, it's not going to cost the customer any money. It's a certified pre-owned device. You can offer insurance to it if, if the customer decides they want to purchase it. But, I mean, it keeps it, – it ends this ridiculous cycle of people sitting on these phones for X amount of time and delaying progress, you know? Yeah. That's why I think it might be before 2040. But, I don't know. Verizon might take the Spectrum, this AWS 3. You think so? Because, like, the last time they bought some was, what, 2015? Maybe they'll want more. Maybe they'll want to, to buff that up a little bit. I can't see why they wouldn't want to at least try because it's mid-band spectrum. Why wouldn't anybody want to get as much mid-band spectrum as they possibly could in right. preparation for it going over to NR and carrier aggregating with C-band and, and AWS 2 and AWS 1 and PCS and all the other stuff. I mean, you got to get as much it, of it as you can. It's, it's, it's AWS 1, AWS 3, AWS H. There's like all these blocks in there, right? Yeah, there are there are a lot of different bands, correct? Right. Well, AWS three was specifically, um, I had to pull up. There, there were a few frequencies it was, but basically Verizon bought a pretty big chunk of it. Two, yeah. two point one. Yeah, yeah. It was the downlink coupling. It's the downlink coupling band. Yeah. yeah, and Verizon bought like a pretty sizable chunk of it almost ten years ago. So the, I don't know. Maybe they want to to look back on that. Maybe start deploying some, get that mid band out there. Network nerd said Verizon will need to seriously densify. In my opinion, Verizon doesn't have N five, so he's saying maybe they should be in on this. It's not true. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, I think Verizon takes this. Oh, okay, so so ever so the experts are leaning AT and T, and then looks like our panels not not saying it's it's that clear uh, the experts are wrong all the time they say frontier shareholders are going to say no and they said yes to, 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 to the tune like 66 percent. so i, I yeah. who cares what experts say they're not experts they, they guess just like everybody else 